Named after its birthplace in the Italian province of Parma, Parmesan cheese is one of the most popular cheeses in the world. Salerno is another province in Italy and the origin of Carmen Mazzara, who founded Salerno in 1962. And at Salerno, the cheese comes first. It's uh, all about cheese, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I mean cheese all the time. Uh, I like it. I never get sick of it. That love of cheese applies to varieties like this Canadian Parmesan. Parmesan can be aged up to 48 months, but a quick three months here is all that's needed for Salerno to get the taste and texture they're after. The process starts in the dry room, and here we're able to get the cheese to dry and age until it gets to a perfect firmness. The cheese is made with bacterial culture, so by aging a cheese in a drying room, you're allowing the bacterial culture to uh, really uh, change the uh, flavor of that cheese over time. These bricks of cheese weigh around 15 kilos each. After three months is up, the blocks are moved. We'll take the blocks out of the dry room and bring it into the production room. It's in the production room that the big bricks of cheese will be transformed for home use by entering an automatic cheese grater. Once the Parmesan is grated, a lifting device dumps the mixture into a 200 kilo bowl chopper. Cellulose powder is added to keep the cheese from sticking together. The bowl chopper will make sure the powder is fully incorporated into the Parmesan. Next, a vacuum sucks up the blended cheese into a dryer. The dryer spins the cheese around and around, exposing it to heat and removing its moisture. The amount of moisture in the cheese changes how it melts. A lower moisture content means the cheese will keep its form, so it's perfect to add to a spice blend. A higher moisture content means it will melt easier, so it's great for raviolis and other stuffed pasta. This Parmesan will enter the dryer at 28% moisture and will leave at 21%, the perfect level to sprinkle over your pasta. After a 30-minute spin, the cheese is moved to a sifter. The sifter separates the smaller granules from the bigger pieces by vibrating continuously. If you put your hands on it, your head will vibrate. The whole room starts to shake. The pieces too large to sift go to a mini grater nearby before getting sifted again. The granules are loaded into a massive hopper, which weighs out the cheese into 2.5 kilo bags. Salerno can fill 3,400 bags every 24 hours. Each bag gets a blast of carbon dioxide and nitrogen gas. This is basically to displace the oxygen in the bag, and this will help increase the shelf life so that uh, bacteria cannot grow. Lewis gets lots of boxes ready, then fills them with Marlin and Ranny. Stacks of boxes are secured with a tight wrapping of plastic, so they don't lean like the Tower of Pisa. Salerno Dairy ships out 800,000 kilograms of grated Parmesan each year. Ready to be sprinkled over a pasta as a breading for veal Parmesan, or stirred into a creamy risotto. This pre-grated Parmesan will save you time and elbow grease.